Hey everyone, Lila here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be watching, I was gonna say a long awaited, but let's just say I have no idea what they're gonna do with this episode. I thought I had The Last of Us wrapped around my little finger in the last episode because I was like, <laughs> you know what? This is the first episode that I haven't cried in. And then Joel was like, psych Lila, all I've got to say is, baby girl, and I will have you. And did it have me? It absolutely had me. And of course, right at the end, I was about to start clapping in my outro, like, you go girl, Lila. This is the only episode you haven't cried in. And Joel just had to just say those two words, those two bloody words, and I was set off. Thank you, Joel. Thank you. But I have no idea where they're going to go with this episode. I'm kind of wanting season two already because what the bloody hell am I going to watch on a Monday moving forward? Besides not having to cry, because clearly <laughs> every Monday morning has had a very similar trend over the last month or so. Yeah, I've pretty much cried every single Monday, which is different. I genuinely didn't think I was going to go into 2023 crying on Mondays. But you know what? It's happened now and I'm sure they're going to drop season two on a Monday as well to just have the same effect. But if you guys are new here, I'm Lila. I'm slightly weird, but you get to know me as these videos go on. But feel free to like, subscribe and comment down below. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into watching the finale of The Last of Us. Oh, this must be a throwback. Oh no, I don't like this already. This looks like Ellie. Is this Ellie's mom? Oh no. Why do I feel like we're gonna see a baby delivered in the most worst way possible? Why do I feel like a friend is gonna pop round the corner any minute? I don't like this. Oh. Oh gosh. Why am I already expecting the worst? Oh no. We've not got time for your BS right now, bro. No! Get him, get him, get him! Get him in the bloody head! Mm. He's got her. Oh, is this gonna explain her immunity? It's just seeing a new life. But in these circumstances, frick me! You fucking kill Nelly. Well, usually I would do my little signature intro with this, but I feel like after watching that... This is where they find her, right? It's just the creaks. Everything along with it. She needs to be fed and I... I didn't want to nurse her. Take her with you to mm. Boston. This is where it all begins. Her name is Ellie. Pick her up right now and then you kill me. Well, this just reminds me of what Ellie said when she said, anyone I love either gets taken away from me or they leave me. I can't kill you. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Oh gosh. Do you remember when I was saying I don't know what this episode's gonna hold? Frick me. Oh Ellie. Oh man. This is not how I would have liked to start this episode. Have you ever played this? Boggle? If you wanna beat me at something, it would be this. <laughs> yes, Joel, please lighten the mood, man. They had a guitar in that RV. It's all smashed up, but... You can tell she's not in the mindset. Ellie? Hmm? 
Oh yeah. Oh, I just want to give her a hug. Just seeing all that man. I'm just so proud of how far she's come. And how she's opened up. Why do I make myself cry? This is literally the worst thing. <laughs> I just need to just not talk. I would help myself out. I need a little bit of noise. Even just the noise of the footsteps gets me anxious. No way up. Why do I feel like they're just trapped in amongst all of this? I feel like they're just staring at us and they're ready to just jump out when we least expect it. You okay? Yeah, fine. I feel like we're really gonna have a heart to heart in this episode. <sighs> Teamwork, I want oh. to see it. Oh man, I just want season two already. I'm gonna miss just seeing these two together. Whoa. <gasps> oh gosh. <laughs> Joel's like, come on, Ali, this is not upstairs. Not cool. Oh, wow. I can imagine just seeing this in the game. Oh, the giraffe. Why is the giraffe making me emotional? Okay, but I love this. Now, something I didn't know I needed in this episode was seeing a bloody giraffe. <laughs> hey there. Okay, so something I didn't realise I was going to cry at in this episode was bloody strawberries and seeing a giraffe. And just seeing how happy Ellie is. Oh, look how many! Oh. Is it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. It's got its ups and downs. You can't deny that view. I love that. Maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. Yeah. After all we've been through. It's the bond they've created. It can't be for nothing. I know you want to protect me. You have. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's. His whole singing career. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere you go. We finish what we started. <sighs> oh, why do I feel like I'm not gonna like the ending? Okay, but was this whole giraffe scene in the game? I'm actually very intrigued. I was the guy who shot and missed. I like the fact that we have these story times in between. Sarah died and I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. Went to pull the trigger, I, I flinched. Still don't know why. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time that did it. Why does this just take me back to the watch? I'm just seeing Sarah give it to Joel. It's just seeing them take a break from heading on this journey just to sit and talk to each other. I feel like even that is powerful in itself. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Chol's face. <laughs> what did the green grape say to the purple grape? Those are three out of 10. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Um, how bloody dare you? I was heavily invested in the bloody grape joke for a second. Oh no. You got hit pretty hard. Oh, where is she? We all know you. Just take me to her. I can't. Um. She's being prepped for surgery. What? No. Produces a kind of chemical messenger. Mm -hmm. He's gonna remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, and then we can give it to everyone. Why do I feel like this is not gonna go well? Cordyceps grows inside the brain. That is a very risky surgery. It does. No, no, you can kill her. I promised her mother that I would save her child. I promised. I'm the only one who understands. I'm sorry. No. Joel is not gonna let that happen. If he tries anything, shoot him. What? No, 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 no. Why is it dark here? This makes it 10 times worse. He's gonna try and fight them. He's gonna try and fight them. He isn't going down without a fight. I said keep walking. Oh, oh Joel. Fuck you. Stop I'm speaking. No, oh, why do I feel like they're gonna come behind you? Cause when they put the music of the series behind a scene, 
but they do it in such a tone as well to represent what they're portraying. He wasn't gonna go down without a fight. No way. This bond we've created, this family we've created, was never gonna happen. Joel, please walk quick. Oh! No, leave her alone! How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. I was gonna say that one little thing, really? Why do I feel like something's gonna catch him or her on the way out? When there's too much silence, I don't know, I don't think positive. Uh... Can't keep her safe forever. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. Oh man. We can still find a way. He's not gonna just let her stay here. It's like his daughter. Did he leave her? No. Oh. <laughs> what? It's all right. You're with me. I'm guessing he killed her. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. Oh, wow. They've actually... Oh, wow. They've stopped looking for a cure. Will she ever know? Is she going to find out in season two? I'm taking this home. <sighs> oh, golly gosh. Yeah, Marlene, not okay. <coughs> oh no, he's not going to let her live. You just come after her. Whoa, frick me. I thought that's where they were going to end the episode. Wow. Oh gosh, I wonder when she'll find out the truth, if she does. Will it be the end of this episode? Will it be in season two? I don't know. Well, Sarah and I used to hike like this all the time. I wouldn't say it was her favorite thing. She wasn't a fan of the mosquitoes and such. I wouldn't be a fan of the walking, <laughs> let alone anything else. She had a killer smile. Again, not saying that you don't. The way he just looks back. <laughs> Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, bet I would have. Oh man, I just love Ellie! Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. When I got bit in the mall, I, I wasn't on my own. Oh. Her name was Riley. Mm, Riley. She was the first to die. You can feel like, like you've come to an end, and you don't know what to do next. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Uh, I swear. Oh. Okay. Ugh, I didn't know where that bloody conversation was going. But freaking hell. Ugh, the last of us, man. We have seen a bond. We have seen growth. We have seen character development to a whole different level in this season. This season alone has took me on a roller coaster of emotions and to even begin to realize what season two might have in store whenever it drops i am already mind baffled and i don't even know what the hell it's gonna entail i don't know how i'm gonna get on with not seeing joel and ellie together every single monday I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Do you remember, right at the start of my reactions of The Last of Us, I was like, bloody hell. Tess, imagine if you leave these bloody two together. It's gonna be a disaster. And just to see them come so far in itself, oh my gosh. And one thing I really liked about this episode was the giraffe scene. I really want to know if that was actually in the game because I love that segment and I love how they integrated it and just seeing a giraffe made me cry. Just seeing Ellie so happy and just seeing the way Joel looks at her happiness is just, is just fulfilling and I dread to think what's even gonna come in season two but I'm already ready for it. My tears are not ready 
but I am ready. But let me know what you guys thought of this series. Are you excited for season two? And let me know which one was your favourite episode. I'm very intrigued. But thank you guys so much once again for watching along with this journey with me. And feel free to like, subscribe, and once again, comment down below for the algorithm. Get it popping. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.